more games in NCAA competition than that man, Augie Garrido, including five national championships, seven and two in the Big 12 this year. And in the last 15 games, the offense is coming around, led by Eric Weiss, who was on a tear this past weekend at Texas Tech, extending his hitting streak to 15 games. The rest of the Texas starting lineup brought to you by Southwest Airlines. It's Mark Payton leading off and right. Taylor Stell plays left field. He has been on a tear as well. Six of 14 in his last six, followed by Weiss, Walsh, DHs, Silver at first, Belts catches like he has all year. E tier at short. Marlowe down to the number eight spot against the left-hander, and Tim Maitland in center field, and he bats ninth. And that lineup will face... So we'll see if Stell is going to move Peyton into scoring position. Taylor getting the opportunity to, to play. Jonathan Walsh going to really beat up. Bring it to the ball at Texas Tech. Taylor Stell did an outstanding job, but a perfect bunt, sacrifice bunt down. That's what you want out of your two-hole guy, especially when Mark Payton gets on base almost. Sacrifice bunt number 41 of the year for the Longhorns means runner in scoring position in Peyton with Eric Weiss coming to bat. Taylor Stell leads off for Texas here on the bottom of the third. Can you judge wind conditions by the way that the grill smoke drifts no, through the ballpark? In here it kind of swirls in towards home plate. That's, that's Stell, the freshman from Dallas Lake Highlands High School went four for ten this past weekend in Lubbock. Four runs batted in. And sure enough, starting to get in a groove when you get more playing time, right? You start to see the ball. Left-handers, right-handers. Like I said, I think the main thing, you see that right there, that ball is off the ground. Until the stuff goes down and hits it, maybe for sure double. Stand up double into second, and for the third straight inning. Texas has the leadoff man aboard, and the first they got him home. And look at this pitch. I mean, it's down about the back leg of Taylor Stell, and he goes out and gets it and keeps it fair. It's just a repetition getting out there and playing. It's more than anything, it's, it's a comfort zone. As we go to the bottom of the sixth, Carter Blackburn with Greg Swindell. Well, and you talked about earlier, Greg, how earlier this season it was just everything out of rhythm for the Texas offense. Now, beginning this weekend in Lubbock and carrying it over to tonight, everything in rhythm, especially for the heart of the order. Yeah, you know, they fell into the lull a couple weeks or last weekend against their two weekends ago against Cal. Uh, threw the ball around, didn't hit the ball too well in, in a couple games, but they bounced back, played well at, at, in Lubbock. And tonight, they're carrying it over. I mean, the one, two, three, and four hitters, two, four, seven, nine, nine hits, scoring runs, that's what you want out of the top of your order. You know, Mark Pink has been on base a lot this year, and lately Eric Weiss and Jonathan Walsh have been driving them in. That's exactly what you want out of your three and four hole. And now with Taylor Stell moving into the two hole, he's getting on base, and they're able to drive him in as well. Taylor Stell leads it off here in the bottom of the sixth. Officially two for two now for Stell.